Welcome to Weld.com. I want to do a, uh, a plate here where we're showing multiple restarts in an uphill procedure. Uh, this doesn't matter whether you're doing it or not. We're going to show it on plate because it's real easy to move around. It, it doesn't matter if you're doing this on the uphill procedure on pipe as well. 60-10, 70-10, 80-10 roots process all runs the same. It's just the transition in the pipe with the uh, reference to the center of the pipe for your rod angle. Today I'm going to run off of a new machine that I have not run before. It is a Everlast 221 STI multi-process machine. It's got a lot of stuff in this menu here that I haven't gotten to yet, but I plan on it because it looks pretty cool. So I'm going to attempt to do all this off of this machine. Uh, it does have a 6010 setting, so I'm going to be playing around with that. So this should be pretty, uh, pretty interesting, educational for me as well. Let me get my gear on. I'll be right back. All right, here we go. Uh, again, new Everlast 220, 221 STI. I have about a half of a 332nd 7018 for the sole purpose is I want to show multiple starts going up through this fill pass. I put an uphill route, uphill hot pass in it. Be the same thing on pipe. So I'm running 80 amps and I think I have my dig arc force set at about 50%. I'll play with that later on. Right now I just want to experiment and see how this is going to run. While I'm putting this fill pass in, I want to hold a short steady arc, push on the edges, watch down below the rod to see how much I've got this filled up, and try to leave it fairly flat. I don't want anything trapped on the side of the bead. Okay, I have to stop. I have a little slag covering where I need to restart, so I'm gonna buff that out. When I restart on this bead, or this to continue on on this fill pass, I want to strike the arc slightly above where I need and, and kind of long arc it a little bit and bring it down and, tr and tie into this little button right here and then continue on up. I want to stop right there and do this again so I can show multiple restarts. I'm not quite as flat as I like to be, but again, I've not run this machine. Ever, first time ever. But, make sure I don't grab a hot rod. Right there is the restart. I'm gonna do this again up here. I'm not too alarmed that the profile is a little round because I'm, I'm, I don't have slag trapped in it, so I'm not alarmed. If I would have missed that transition and got a little bump there, I could go in and clean that out and everything, but it's, it's flat enough and it's clean enough for me, so I'm gonna keep going. Now sometimes we will restart with a rod. We'll run half a rod and then we're gonna run the other half. And I think we've shown this before. You wanna zoom in on that camera guy? Get right on the end of that rod right there. See a little brown glass covering the end of it. And it makes for a, makes for a hard restart. 
And uh, I know we've all done it. We sit here and we peck on the plate. It won't come off. I, I generally just pound on these flat, scratch them. Uh, if I have a file handy, I'll scratch it open on the, just so it shows bare metal on the end. It makes it a lot easier to restrike. Right here is my second restart, and I did get a little bit of a bump. Again, I'm not too awful alarmed with it. I may go over and touch it with a thin bladed grinder. It's just slightly, slightly high, not too bad. So we'll come in here and we'll do the cap, and I'll do one restart. I'll try to hit it right about the middle. You know what? Here I got a half burnt rod I just talked about. Wherever this ends, I'm expecting at least about a third of the way up. Then I'll stop and we'll do the restart right there. Haven't made any adjustments to the setting on this machine. 80 amps, 332nd, 7018. On these cap passes, I like to stay just inside the bevel. Point the rod straight in, keep it on the leading edge of the pool. Watch the sides. Watch where the bead turns from bright red to dark red. That's how full it is or how tall it is. I also try to weave pretty much straight back and forth. On this restart, I want to strike, the again, just like I did on the field pass, I want to strike slightly above this, kind of long arc it a little bit, and I want to bring it down to the highest point of this right here. Got a restart right here and I'm sure the camera guy is going to zoom in real tight and catch this just a little bit wide. For I don't know, I didn't see it when I have ended that first rod that we ran, but when I got ready to restart I'm thinking, wow that's got a chip over here that's kind of blown out. So when I restarted I went ahead and filled that in because if I wouldn't have it'd be a, a nice little big old cut and kind of like an undercut spot and it would be wide enough. I do notice, and I don't know if the shadows are what he's getting over here, but I notice I've got just a little bit of undercut on this side. You'll notice I didn't here. I adjusted my technique so that when I was weaving over here, I would do just a little bit of a tuck, and it took care of it. It also rounded the bead up slightly higher. This, is, this right here is what I like. I don't mind that restart. Again, it is a little bit wider, but I took care of the undercut. I could go back in with a file and a wire wheel and straighten all that up if I needed to. So, you know, there's also I need to mention, I, you know, I did this with 332nd. I ran 330 or uh, eighth inch root, eighth inch uphill hot pass, and then we got into this video on the fills and restarts. Is there another way to do this? Well, sure there is. You could do an uphill route, 
an uphill hop pass and go just a little bit slower and immediately go into eighth inch cap. You don't need to run the fill pass. I'm trying to do a demonstration on multiple restarts, you know, so that's why I did the 332. There is another way yet, you know, you could go straight to uh, right after the root, you could clean it all out and you could do a fill pass with either 332nd or 8th, whatever you feel comfortable with and go with the low hydrogen rods directly after the root. So there's variations, especially when you're writing a WPS, you know, there people like it done differently. I don't like to grind, that's why I like to run hot passes. So again, this, uh, you know, think about doing this on piping material. If we were doing an uphill procedure, we'd start at the bottom of a piece of pipe, run to the top, same thing on the hot pass if you ran one, fill pass, cap, you're just transitioning uphill. So the restarts are exactly the same as what I just got through showing here. It's all, it's all the same, same, tech, same technique, it's just you gotta remember you're rotating your transition in reference to the center of the pipe. Hey, I hope this helps. Thanks for watching Weld.com and remember, BS, be safe, man. Have fun, thanks. Alrighty, here we go. We're gonna finish up. Make me fast and accurate, please. Uh-oh, cops are here.